You guys are gonna love this one. In this video, you're gonna see two lovely southern bells. Go over all your confessions in the Spill the Tea collab with Nouvelle. Honestly, this one was amazing. You all submitted some hilarious and spicy confessions that had the two of us roaring with laughter. But wait, women don't laugh. <laughs> Whether you loved our southern accents or absolutely hated them, there were so many hilarious little jokes and funny moments that'll have you spilling your own tea in the comments. Nouvelle was such a wonderful little spider to chat with, and she can uh, wrap me up in her web anytime. But if you want to see the spiciest confession, you're going to have to watch all the way to the end. But before we get to that, Here's a moment for today's video sponsor. Another amazing pair. No, not that pair. The pair with today's video. Today's sponsor, the Handy. That's right, this Scandinavian pleasure brand has teamed up with us to tell you a little bit more about their product and help support the channel. And boy, howdy. Do those Scandinavians know how to make one amazing product? <laughs> when you're looking for a little adventure in your life, you can use their amazing product no matter your situation. If you want to go solo with their amazing hardware's easy to use controls, or you've decided to team up with a partner using their remote control function, or even trying out their option to synchronize your experience with some extra content. You can't go wrong when it feels just right. With over 100,000 units sold, a one-year warranty and discreet delivery now is as good a time as any to get your hands on the handy. You can use my link in the description or the pinned comment to grab one for yourself. Thanks again to the handy for sponsoring this video. All right, without any further delay, it's time to spill the tea. <laughs> All right, spilling your tea. This happened to me when I was a freshman in college back in Mexico. It was my first time away from my family, so I was alone. So being a fresh 18-year-old guy, I was naive and a wild man. Oh, wild man. Oh, I love being wild. Oh, I'm clutching my pearls for this. Yeah. I love my own wild man. Goodness, my, my, Vixie. Mm. Our college, a year prior, Ban Hazen due to an actual accident, so in instead, they organized a massive party for the newbies. It was food and drink. Being new to this, I just drank to my heart's content. After a bit and being tipsy, I managed to hear some people say that they were going to another place to play some games. So my nerd mind thought, oh hey, video games. I snuck into that group, and in the way to that place, we kept drinking. Arriving to this house, we went in, and let's just say that it was a party that everyone did everyone. Oh, shit. Oh, honey. Oh, oh honey. Oh, honey, did you, did you just go into an orgy, honey? I believe we just heard someone confess to an orgy, Nouvelle. Wow, oh, my. Good. my. Oh, goodness gracious. That's mighty fine. Did you join? Wait, wait, perhaps I need to read this. Did you join it? All right, let me, let me find this. I don't remember what I did that night, but let's just say that I was the first one to wake up and did the walk of shame. I knew it was that sort of party because I woke up with a man and a woman to my side and there were loads of party hats. I'm 30 now and I'm still ashamed of that day. Why did Why you have you fun? Is everybody's consenting to it and everybody having a yeah. good time? Then I do believe that something should be, you know, you should be celebrated to be able to do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you know, if you had fun and everyone was safe. Mm hmm. I do believe that not? sounds like a good time. Should have been me. That's all I'm saying. Okay, this is by Pun Master. So, when I was in high school in aviation course, the guys and I would mess around in the flight simulator. Ooh. 
And for some uh, reason unknown to me, the flight sim had a model of an Ohio class submarine. So I changed uh -oh. its thrust value to Mach 3 Jet Bomber. I forget the name <laughs> of it and flew alongside everyone else during free time. I bet you did. I bet you did, Pun Master. <laughs> Yeah, you do turn up that thrust value. Yeah, you turn up to Mark 3, you bad individual. Yeah, you turn it all the way up, honey. Oh, wait, how did that feel? <laughs> was that nice? Was that mighty bad? Oh, goodness. I bet your friends just enjoyed it. You just blew right by them with that thrust. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. <laughs> that's impressive for me. I just hope you didn't hurt yourself, my <laughs> sugar plum. Uh, oh, honey, bless your heart. Are you alright? <laughs> Did you go too fast? Alrighty then. I think it's time to move on. I think it's time to move on. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It's alright. Okay, is it your turn? Is it my turn? I, I, I think it's your turn to fail. No, my, I'm, my... I'm having a little bit of a giggle snort. <laughs> Can you not hear me, honey? <laughs> That's very unbecoming of a lady. You have this. All right, all right. We need to be quiet. <laughs> Women don't laugh. <laughs> the main one I can think of is whenever I was 19. I was staying at a friend's, but we were on a bar, a bar crawl. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, you bar hopping. He said, if anyone gets laid, they can have the one bed. That oh. was when I decided I was on a mission. Oh. We hopped from one bar to bar. Finally ended up at a nightclub. By this time, or point at the night, I was extremely drunk. I was dancing to these middle-aged women, all very attractive, and one gets up Ooh. and dances with me. She had her hands on my hips, very close, and just as she leans in to kiss me, she asked, how old are you? To which I reply, 19. Why? And she looks in shock and says, I'm 35, sweetie. To which I drunkenly responded, so. And she left me without a further word. Oh. I ended up outside of that club waiting for my friends to turn up. I shared the story with one of them. And we decided to go and get some greasy takeaway food and find some others. Oh, oh that's, that's sad. That's yeah, so that's a sad. Of, that's a sweet yikes. Yeah, exactly. Well, clearly she didn't believe in that new trend that's going around now, you know. You Have you heard of the, the hag maxers or whatever the heck they, the young folk are calling them now? Are they all into them the older one? women? Hag maxers? my vacuum. <laughs> that's what I use. Suck up all them, you know, little. A hag, ma hag max? Is that what you... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's in my vacuum. That's, that's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a rumor that number 11 was pretty good. Number 11, alright. We didn't mm. go to 11. <laughs> what is that? What is that? You spilled one time. I took a massive <laughs> in the bathtub and I just landed there. Now why? Why would you share that? That is not the kind of tea. Well, you just take it in. You dropped the damn log. You dropped a log? Somebody dropped a deuce in the bathtub, Duvel. What we gonna and, do about it? And you left it there. Sonic <laughs> Junior the God Hunter. Apparently you <laughs> Hunter. Why'd you drop it there? We don't know. Maybe he was being vindictive. We don't know. Maybe it's like, man, I really don't like this person. I'm gonna take <laughs> in their tub. <laughs> <laughs> She had a patient that we'll call Bob. Bob came into the ER because he and his girlfriend were fooling around with a Buzz Buzz toy and now said toy was stuck. An x-ray showed that the toy was so deep in Bob that it would need surgery to be removed. When Bob found out, he begged and pleaded if there was any way because he had to be home before his wife and kids woke up and found out he wasn't there. 
Unfortunately for Bob, he had to get surgery. Oh, Bob! Oh, you got something stuck in there? Oh, my oh is it stuck? Goodness. It's all right. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> it really does. It really does. Oh, Lord. A while ago, me and my friend attended the same summer camp. During our time there, he always mentioned how much he had a crush on this one girl who was also attending the camp, but never had the courage to face her. And then on the final day of camp, she came up to me and asked me to give my friend a love letter, she wrote. But instead of doing that, I threw it in the trash because I also have a crush on her. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I just didn't want to tell my friend that I also have a crush on her because I didn't want us to have a big fight. It's been many years since. Should I tell him the truth? Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is probably the spiciest tea we've gotten today because this is an ongoing tea situation. This is that ongoing. Makes sense. This is long-term tea. This is tea, honey. Do you tell him the truth? I think it's better. I think it is. Because, for an example, if you happen to start dating the person that your friend wants to be with because you didn't tell them about your feelings and then your friend finds out and they're like, wait, why didn't you tell me you had a thing for this person? That's a whole lot of mess. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be involved in that mess. If they did the same thing to you, you probably wouldn't like that either. Mm-hmm. It Even says it's a while ago, anything. but... A while ago. I think you should just be honest. Like, I think you should, honestly. If you want to keep that friend and keep that trust, I think you should be honest with them. You should always strive to be honest with your friends when it comes to stuff like this, I think. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is an interesting tea. It's very, it's it's got a lot of layers to it, you know. Like an ogre. Why would you go right to an ogre, Newfell? Do you like ogres? You like big just... burly monsters? Is that what you like? I won't lie, I do like big, burly monsters, but I do know that ogres have layers. I thought you were going to say something else. Spill the tea, honey. I thought you were going to say ogres have big dead. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, Fiona did stay. <laughs> some water holy holy nice sweet little lovely water because yeah, yeah. we do have tea go but ahead. earl grey tea ain't gonna do nothing for me <laughs> go ahead nouvelle get wet honey i already am no. i'm gonna buy you down <laughs> here come here <laughs> i'm looking at the name after what we were just talking about this name this is what from number 31 oh <laughs> <laughs> this next tea is from ruinously moist <laughs> Spill your tea. <laughs> when, when I was six years old, I, oh no, I was playing on a skateboard, which I had been expressly forbidden to do. Being six, I decided to do it anyway, and it ended up being run over by someone. Oh. oh. <laughs> But thankfully, several surgeries and months of physical therapy later, I regained full use of my leg and can walk just fine. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. Jeez, that... Fast forward to college, I met a nice girl. We date for a while. Oh no, I don't know where I'm this not is laughing. going. I'm sorry, that wasn't me. We date for a while. She wants me to introduce me. Introduce me to her parents. Go to her parents' house and we notice there's a huge scar on my foot. I tend to wear flip, flip flops when it's hot. And they ask about it. 
<laughs> so I begin to regale them. Her mom loses all color, covers her mouth, and runs from the room. Turns <laughs> out she did it and <laughs> never told anyone. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought it was funny having happened 20 years ago at that point, but her family was a total shock. Small world, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry about your foot. Honey. I'm very sorry about your foot. I'm That's happy terrible. you didn't actually lose your foot. Exactly. That's good. That's Cause good. Because if you actually, you know. You took my foot. I took your daughter. <laughs> like, I think <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> This one says, if I had a dime for every time I've been struck by lightning, I would have four dimes. <laughs> That's not a lie. <laughs> That's not a <laughs> That's not a lie. <laughs> <is it? laughs> but say, <laughs> it's just it's <laughs> weird. It happens four times. <laughs> How are you not dead? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> To be <laughs> the most unlucky son of a <laughs> in the world, yes, gosh darn. Ah, oh, I'm glad that you're still here because getting hit by lightning <laughs> four times that's something serious. My aunt left her husband because while she was giving him some sloppy, <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> And looked up to see two ticks <laughs> in his belly button. Like the bug, like the bug kind of <laughs> the the arachnid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm a fan of arachnids, clearly. <laughs> Probably enough tea for me, though. How do you feel? I feel mighty fine. As long as you're happy, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. What are you? What are you doing these days, Nouvelle? We'll have to have you back here sometime. Yeah, you should invite me. I am usually in my shop. I just noticed that there's a counter for giggle fits on my screen. It says giggle fix that didn't happen forty. That wasn't. <laughs> <done. laughs> No, giggle fit. <laughs> Just notice that now, and I wonder who did that. <laughs> oh, Lord. 